Well, hello there, Pisces. It looks like having so many irons in the fire that go towards your empire building has distracted you from something right in front of you. But now that it's revealed, let's see what you do with it. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Pisces Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, the links to both are in the description box below. Okay, you all saw me shuffle. Divine Disguise, oh. And the juggler. Divine Disguise came out in the Aquarius reading. Okay. That's interesting. Got a whole lot of things going on, Pisces. We're going to see what they are and what's important. For the juggler, it says, many projects in the air, aspirations and inspirations everywhere, action to take, commitments to make, and yet another will soon join the fray. Say yes, do not delay. It will all work out in the perfect way. Okay. And divine disguise. It says, some blessings are obvious. The door that opens, the person who says yes, and the instant success of an idea. But not all blessings are instantly recognizable. Some blessings are so veiled that at first you might consider them to be an unwanted development. A concealed blessing is either already at work in your life or is on its way. Don't worry if you feel like things aren't working out as they should. Soon enough, the disguise will be dropped and the blessed unmasked in all its beauty. This feels like a Pisces that has so much going on, you might not even see this. Definitely not at first. You might not even see it. Let's see where realization kicks in. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. There is someone here who's doing so much empire building on a dream that is significantly large that you may feel like a little bit like court gesture dancing for the court in order to, say, get, get an idea funded. Like control isn't completely yours. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Okay. Weird cut, but okay. It's causing some anxiety. The, okay, the, the, the juggling is specifically. Okay, cool. Temperance, card of Sag, two of pentacles, death, that's Scorpio energy. Emperor, card of Aries, six of swords, six of wands, chariot, card of cancer. So in the process of this is you, this is them, this is the situation. It's showing me that the thing that took you a long time to see was... For this breakup to happen. Like it took a long time to see. Long time. Okay. This disconnect is a win for you. Across the board. Sag, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer. For those keeping track. Show me the details of the situation. Why and how it took so long. Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. This person was trying to win the long game with you. Of didn't matter how long it took, but drag you over the line to matrimony. Okay. If you're that person that just wanted to have a live-in partner but not get married kind of thing, it's given that whole, like, they just wanted the next stages of relationship. They were waiting, they were waiting for that to pan out, and it looks like it's not. Okay. 
but they're not looking for those stages because they love you. Key. That's key. Okay. They expected those next steps. What was it based in, please? That expectation. It would make them happy. Not that it would make the both of you happy. Oh. This feels like someone who doesn't want to work. No judgment. There's plenty of us that want to be stay at home something. <laughs> but this is this is someone who doesn't have feelings for you as a person. Okay. As a person. They view you as a resource. They view you as a resource. What's the overall intention here for this uh, Scorpio Earth sign? Ah, they want their burdens released. So they can play all day. Mm-hmm. So they could be reckless and thoughtless and not have any responsibilities. And honey, we all want that. <laughs> but, you know, you should have that with someone who you care about and who cares about you. <laughs> you know, it's a big difference. So this is showing me that this person believes they've put in the time to earn that, to be owed that. And because you wanted things to proceed slowly, you get to see who this person really is. Show me the two of pentacles for Pisces, please. Devil, three of cups, judgment lovers. Ah, did you miss another lover opportunity because you chose to keep this one? Capricorn, Gemini energy. Yeah, yeah. Missing a three of cups. Show me the emperor for Pisces, please. Justice, seven of pentacles. You were starting to see that you were putting everything into this and they weren't. And whoever this Queen of Wands is, that was this lover person that you lost, you're seeing that you had more core foundation with them, core values and things like that, compatibility with them than you did with the partner that you stayed with or that you continued with. Justice card of Libra. Show me the Six of Wands, please. Fool. Hierophant, Taurus energy. Ace of Cups. Ego is in the way. Negative ego. The, the, the ego we could all do without. <clears throat> there is such thing as healthy ego. Negative ego. Got in the way. Of taking a risk. Toward a real ace of cups, ten of cups cycle. With someone. That will require higher commitment than, their, than you have given in the past. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's get this one. Okay, let's get into them. Let's go death card of Scorpio, please. This person does not want to start all over and they don't want you, they also don't want this relationship to be like once they leave, you marry the next person. Again, they don't love you. So this is just audacity. <laughs> Cancer, Taurus energy again. Oh, so what did they know? Show me the Queen of Swords. They know that they successfully blocked a higher connection from you obtaining a higher connection with someone else. They know they helped block it. 
They know they helped block up. They helped block a faded connection by tying up your energy in relationship with them. Wow. Ah, oh, that's okay. That karma train is never late. Show me the six of swords, please. Two of cups, hangman, strength, card of Leo, four of swords. Mmm. Mm hmm. There is someone they love somewhere else. This all this person also loves controlling people. Wow. Just came right out there and said it, huh? And now they won't have anything to control. They're gonna have to deal with their own burdens. So they're gonna have some new ones now. Show me the chariot. They're going to try to start things new and fresh with you again. Okay. Before you could start something new somewhere else. Aquarius, Gemini, star lovers. Okay. Seven of coins. Eight of coins. Okay. They're going to try to block you from moving forward without them. What's their deal? They don't, they don't want to lose you. Again, it's not that they love you. It's the, it's the life you pay for. All that's going up in flames. Wheel of Fortune, Tower, Scorpio Energy. All of that's going up in flames. Okay, so now that Pisces sees the truth of this, and this connection is ending for them, what do they want next? You want to speak to someone. Quickly, quickly, quickly. It's almost like um, letting go of this opens up space for you to reflect on other things, other connections that have emotional ties to them or had, because it feels like you put a fence around this particular emotional attachment to this person instead of processing it and putting it away. Because it's like once that fence comes down, you're quite sad that this person moved on from you or moved away from you. What does Pisces want to happen aside from communication? Devil Nine of Swords. There is a Pisces here with a, with an insomnia problem, a significant one. Um, part of it, okay, um, Capricorn Energy there with the Devil. Part of it has to do with going so far through life and not admitting what your heart actually desires. Okay. This is killing the silence and confusion. It's like, what do you, re what do you really want? It gets super clear too. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Show me the Ace of Cups. Yep, you you want you want the one who's probably going to argue with you when you show up. You want long term with them, no matter how long it takes, because there's still feelings there. There's still connection there for you. It's the first time I saw feelings toward another person in this spread. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with this Three of Cups judgment lovers? They waited, they resisted the exit, but they felt foolish to stay with no outcome, with no desirable outcome that they wanted happening. Eight of Wands. Okay. Now you get hearts were broken here. Hearts were broken. Okay. Um, pretty thoroughly. Okay. If you want to have a conversation with this person, you need to learn to set your ego aside. Otherwise, that argument part, definitely going to happen. Okay. Interesting. Well, since you want to speak to them again and you are so over the thing that you're in or in slash ending, I'm going to head over to the extended and go into this person. I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information... 
along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time. Messages between you, as well as timing. Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.